So that's where that's where we lost today, right there. Yeah. But it start out of all with such a daggum pain. I should have taken pictures. We got video. Number three of the one day project. Like, day and a half project. Well, so we're on full double time now. We're going. So, this guy's work. I'm here to help out. If I start putting the floor in, he's got the hole in the back of the auger fixed. So, what? Uh, give it here in a second. Start waving, waving everything in. Well, I have to make it. I have to make it lap over. Like these two things butt up against each other, they have these lap on to this and screw it down. Yeah, it's where I'll forget that. How do we do that? Uh, well, if this thing shifted, if the auger shifted this way an inch and a half, which it looks like it has, right? Yeah. We're off about. Inch, inch and a half off the wall. We lost it. Inch and a half off the wall. That's three inches right there. And that's what we're, we're about off three inches. Yep. So that's where that's where we lost today, right there. Yep. But that start out of wall was such a daggum pain. I should have taken pictures. We got video. So it looks like we got what we got here is right here. We're not touching the wall. I didn't think we were. We pulled it apart. And we have a little room. We have you know, an inch there. We've lost a little space. To pull back in. That's kind of where we're at. So the well, because we had our opening in here, our opening in there was not big enough. To get our opening big enough, we pulled the well back a little bit. About an inch, so there's three inches we've lost. So, what we'll end up doing is having to knock this first piece a little bigger to go in there, make a patch to that hole there, and do that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Got the uh, patch cut out, got it seamed in, so I can lay make a patch up here. Now let's get the legs under. Making progress. What we've done here is we had the bad spot. We had the bad spot before. We cut patches out. Oh, left the top. Notch it. Kind of, I guess an L notch or something, and we get it back in there and stay there with some screws. Then we'll make sure we have a leg under each brace right there, or patch, or patch right there, have a leg under each patch. And it should be held, it should hold up fine. When the full sheet comes in, they all lock, they all lock, they're all locking together. Yeah, when the full sheet comes in, they're all locked together and it'll be fine. Now, put the next big piece in. This one. We make a tiny piece. We make a, we make a tiny piece fit in there first. Yep. Yep.
Okay, it is. Fast this pocket, we're gonna call it for that. We got a thing in a good mood tonight. Kids eat supper. So we've got the uh, well put back in, got it patched in, looks pretty good. We got the patches in the floor over here next to the door where the holes were. We've, again, we just cut out some other floor we had when we built the bins the other year, well, about five years ago now, I think. It should really start going faster now that we got the got a well cut back in. It should go faster and get down to like last four or five pieces against the wall, which will again be a pain in the butt. Just slow. That's what it's when you if you guys ain't done this, last time we did it, we did it in a bigger bin, we had some holes in the floor we had to fix. We only tore out maybe half of the floor. And you know, we had to go just past the well to fix the hole. Yeah, I had to go like one or two runs past the well. So we didn't we never had to restart like we did here, which was a it took us two hours, three hours to get that set right. Once they got it set right, it's running good. But if you ain't got to do that, you ain't got to tear it all the way out, it goes back together a lot quicker. But we had good we did a good thing tearing it out where we were tar the tar and still everything up. Everything's still back up. That should last a lot longer. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. See what we we'll get done tomorrow. Welcome back to mid 10, y'all. Back in the green bin. So uh, since it's Work week, we are down to working less than eight minutes after work. We got just a little bit past the well. We had to slow down to make, to cut out these rusty pieces, make patches. We're gonna, we had three, then we're gonna have to do two more. So instead of doing two more right here, we're gonna slide the patch. We cut it out on that side and slid the floor over. This in about 11 inches, next in about 13. That way we don't get a bunch of patches in one spot. So we gotta get this one down. And uh, we're going. We got this cat with us too. All right, we made it in here. Get it? Yeah. Cool. All right, we're down to the last uh, one, two, three, four, four, five rows, so we're down to the fun part. This is gonna get slow and then he's gonna get the last ones in there because they're not going to work anymore, just about. We're gonna knock it out though. We finished the floor up. We had to trim off about an inch and a half off of that. Like we were saying, I don't know, the video ago or I don't know when. We were about an inch and a half off that wall. We, we messed up on our measurements, but it's all back together. So our lines aren't straight here. That's cause we scooted the pieces over by the door and then put a patch over here because we didn't want to have a bunch of patches right by the door. Welcome back to mid ten, y'all. So, uh, a little bush hog maintenance this morning. I don't have one or two tires flat. I have three flat tires. One, two, three. So, them's uh, airplane tires. They got tubes in them. I know two of them snapped the valve stems off. And I think this one right here just has a couple holes in the tube. 
Might be able to patch it, but I got other tubes. We just gotta get the wheels off. Already got it jacked up. Gotta pull the wheels, put some tubes in it. As you can see, this one broke the valve stem off. Oh. And I think, and I think I have went and left the tubes in the service truck. So I gotta run back and get them. I've looked all over for them. I found one old one that has a pinhole in it, or pretty good size hole. I got it sitting on an old truck seat. But I got some new ones. Pretty sure they're still sitting in the service truck. Make sure your uh, valve stem doesn't fall back in the rim. It's a little pro tip right there. Maybe wonder what we're doing. Well, we're keeping the best tire off the set of combine tires in case we cut one or something. We need one real quick. Not a good tire, but it's a good spare to keep around. In case you guys didn't know, old combine got some new shoes on today. What other day? Got some Titans on the back. They got some fire sold up front. I lost y'all. Know how to how to uh, act new tires on her. We'll find out here in a few weeks. I had to break out and buy new ones though. Couldn't find new ones anywhere. Like I was saying, we got some new tires on our combine. We can end up keeping our old set for right now. We're gonna keep one of them for spare, the big ones. We got a couple tires around here though. So any of you CrossFit guys feeling strong? Need some tires to flip? I got some good ones. Make a man out of you. We got the uh, skirt put back on around the bend with the bolts, bolts this side. We gotta come back and put the uh, self tappers in the bottom and the bend will be back, back together. 6.30 though, supper time. Bob's gonna call until it's time to eat, so we're gonna head to the house. We'll catch you back up on this tomorrow maybe. Till next time, good Lord willing.
Okay, jump to the side. 